Hey guys, IAD here from a Minecraft video. Today, we're looking at every potion in the game, and this is the 1.4.7 update. So, uh, the first thing you need to know, these three things here. Redstone increases duration uh, for a few potions. Glowstone increases power slash effectiveness for a couple of potions as well. Gunpowder makes it into a splash potion for every potion. So, those three, those three ingredients are basically the key ingredients. So the first thing you want to do is make an awkward potion. This is the base potion for all potions. So you need a nether wart, which is found in the nether, in nether fortresses. It's pretty valuable. Uh, you can make a farm with them. Um, so yeah, uh, if you had get water bottles or get a water bottle in a brewing stand, uh, it'll make an awkward potion. So um, next one we move on to is instant health potion. It gives you a boost of health and it's very useful. You need a glistering melon, which is a gold nugget and a melon uh, put together makes a glistering melon uh, with awkward potion um, in a brewing stand makes a potion of healing uh, glowstone dust with it will make um, instant health too which is recommended Spl uh, gunpowder make it into a splash potion of insta health uh, glowstone and gunpowder make it into a splash potion too of insta health uh, next one we move on to the speed potion which increases movement speed uh, so you need sugar which is kind of makes sense because it makes you hyperactive uh, with uh, awkward potion in a brewing stand makes potion of swiftness if you add glowstone it makes it makes you more faster but it reduces the time on it if you add redstone it makes it last longer uh, if you add glowstone dust and gunpowder or you can swap the glowstone for redstone your choice uh, it can make it into a, a splash potion but more powerful um, so yeah next one we move on to the regeneration potion uh, basically regenerates health uh, you need a gas tier for this, and gas tiers, uh, if you kill a gas with a bow and arrow or sword or anything, I think it's a guaranteed drop, um, gas are in the never by the way, it'll drop a gas tier which you can go collect, and if you put with awkward potions it makes, uh, in a brewing stand it makes a potion of regeneration. If you add glowstone dust to this, um, it'll make a potion of regeneration, it'll be more powerful, but it won't last as long. Uh, with redstone, it makes it last longer, but not as powerful, and gunpowder makes it into a splash potion. So next we move on to night vision potion. Makes you see in the dark. Uh, just, so basically what you need is a carrot and a golden nugget, which makes a golden carrot. Uh, with awkward potions, and in a brogue stand, makes a potion of night vision. So if you add redstone, it makes it last longer. This one here is recommended. Uh, if you add gunpowder, um, it makes a splash potion of night vision. Uh, if you're in a group of people, you can get redstone and gunpowder, makes it last for 6 minutes, and it's a spl splash potion. So that's pretty cool. Uh, strength potion increases attacks by 1 or 2 hearts. So, if you first thing you want to do is get a blaze rod. And these blaze rods, uh, again, you find them from blazes and uh, in the nether, in nether fortresses. And basically, yeah, if you put it in the crafting table, you will get 2 blaze dust. Uh, if you add blaze dust, awkward potions, in a brewing stand, you'll get a potion of strength. If you add glowstone to this, uh, you'll get it'll make it more powerful, but for not as long. Uh, if you add redstone, it'll make it for longer. And if you add gunpowder, make it into a splash potion, which you can give to a group of people. Poison potion uh, takes the enemy down to half a heart, which it requires a spider eye with awkward potions. In a brewing stand, makes a potion of poison. Uh, if you add glowstone dust, it makes it more powerful but not as long. Redstone uh, basically makes it longer but not as powerful. Gunpowder makes it into a splash potion. The next one is the invisible potion, which makes you invisible. Uh, so if you open up the chest, as you can see here, this one's a little bit different. Uh, you need a potion of night vision, which I've just explained how to make. And uh, if you put a fermented spider eye with a potion of night vision in a brewing stand, it'll make a potion of invisibility. Uh, if you add redstone to this, it'll make it for 8 minutes, last for 8 minutes. If you add gunpowder, make it splash potion. Gunpowder and redstone, which is the best, I think, uh, will make it 6 minutes. So if you're in a group of people and you want to go raid a base, you can just splash this on the ground and you'll be invisible. So next, um, damage potion. This uh, hurts all enemies apart from zombies. Um, it actually heals zombies, so if you, want, if you want to have a pet zombie, that's always uh, useful. So what you need to do is get a potion of poison, put it in a brewing stand with a fermented spider eye, and it will make a potion of harming, potion of damage. And um, if you have glowstone dust, makes it more powerful. Uh, gunpowder makes it into a splash potion. Gun red glowstone dust and gunpowder makes it into a splash potion too, which is recommended. 
Uh, fire resistant potion, which basically resists fire. Makes kind of sense. Uh, you need magma cream, which I believe is off nether slimes. And uh, if you put that with awkward potion with a brewing stand, it basically makes a potion of fire resistance. If you add redstone to that, it makes it last for eight minutes. If you had gunpowder, it makes it splash one. And if you had redstone and gunpowder, it makes it for six minutes and it's a splash. So next we move on to the slowness potion, which reduce, reduces movement speed. Um, basically, you need either a potion of fire resistance or a potion of swiftness. Spo potion of swiftness is recommended because it's more cheap. Potion of fire resistance is quite expensive, so I wouldn't really recommend that one. Anyway, you get fermented spider eye, one of these potions in a brewing stand, makes a potion of slowness. And if you add redstone to this, it basically makes it last for four minutes. If you add gunpowder, it makes it last for... No, sorry. If you add gunpowder, it makes a splash potion again. Uh, redstone and gunpowder turns it into a splash potion, and it makes it last for ages. Uh, so we, we move on to the weakness potion, the last potion. Reduces all attacks by one heart. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you need a fermented spider eye. Uh, this sh that should be awkward potion, sorry about that, and a brewing stand, in a brewing stand, it'll make a potion of weakness, uh, if you get, if you add redstone to it, it'll make it last for longer, gunpowder, make it to a splash potion, redstone and gunpowder will make it into, uh, a splash potion again, but with a longer duration. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed, uh, my name's Ayeti, I regularly post videos, doing some playthroughs and stuff, uh, pretty, pretty much tips and stuff. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.